Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you a brand new hack for the Stanley Two Bowl Cook Set. Stay tuned. So this is a pretty nice pot. Uh, this is the Stanley Two Bowl Cook Set, and it does come with two plastic bowls and lids and some cookware uh, utensils inside. Uh, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. Uh, I just want to talk about this pot and a hack that you can do to it that I think makes it a lot more useful. Of course, it's a 40 ounce pot or 1200 milliliter. It's got some nice graduated markings and uh, Stanley on the other side. It's not really a review of the pot. There's a lot of people that do that, but, but I like it. Uh, it's a good size for one or two people. Of course, it has the kind of the standard flip over handle. It's got the lid. A little tab on it and uh, it's okay I mean it's a it's a decent pot but you can't really hang it over a fire and I know people sometimes they'll take and they'll use a Dremel and kind of notch out here so that it hangs a little better uh, like so and I like that idea but I don't like to weaken this area here so I came up with another idea and I want to show you that right now so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tab on this pot and replace it with an S beaner and this is very easy to do I've shown you this in a previous video but there's a pin right here and you could just take a small nail and put it in this side and you can drive it out like that and then this comes off just got a little bit of a little plastic piece in there you can take that out so once you get that started, then it's fairly easy to grab a hold of it with a pair of pliers and pull it on out the rest of the way. Now, I like to go ahead and put it back together because there's a possibility that sometime in the future I may want to use it again. And of course, you just stick the little pin down in there and uh, push it on through and uh, then just hang on to that. That way you don't destroy it. Some people cut them and clip them and all that, but this way you can put it right back on if you want. What I'm putting on here is the Night Eyes. It is the number two S Beaner. And it just clips on here really great. Uh, stainless steel. And so we're gonna put that on there. So all you do is you take the S Beaner, slip it in there, and now it gives us a nice stainless steel handle that won't melt in a fire. It's more durable. It's also multi-purpose. Uh, having an extra carabiner is always a good idea. Now to hang it, I'm gonna use my strapping that I showed you before hanger iron it's not galvanized I wish it was stainless and you could probably find stainless if you wish but this will work and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece here where I have a large hole and a small hole and then I'm going to round off the corners you can use a file or anything like that that you want to to round that off and make the edges smooth when you're done you're going to end up with something that looks like this and I did take a hammer and tap it right here in the center to kind of put a bit of a curve in it. And uh, so that's going to help to fit the pot just a little bit better. The next thing that I did is I measured on either side of this and using a Dremel tool just trimmed off the lip here so this would fit flat. And then I drilled a hole that would match this one so that it looks like that. Next I have a very small stainless steel Phillips head bolt with a washer and a nut and I did have to trim this down some to get it to fit flush. But all we're going to do is we're going to fasten this together. So we're going to take the pot and we're going to put the screw in a little bolt here from the back and it's going to go through like that and we're going to tighten it on with the nut. Alright, there we have it. It's a very tight screw. It shouldn't leak. Uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And it works pretty well with the pot. The next thing I did is I took a piece of hanger. 
Now this happens to be a stainless steel hanger, but you can use any kind of hanger that you wish. Just a piece of heavy duty hanger wire. Try to find a thick one if you can. And you want to measure the length so that when this comes over to the top, about halfway over the pot, you can link this in like this, and then it hooks over top of this way so that you can hang the pot. What I like about this system and the way that it works is you can easily put the lid on while you're cooking for boiling or for anything like that. Sometimes you just need to stir your soup to keep it from burning to the bottom of the pan and it's very easy to remove. So it's completely out of the way as well as the fact that it doesn't affect the pot. This is so close to the top. It's about where these other rivets are and it's above the 40 ounce or 1200 milliliter mark a good ways and normally you don't fill them that full anyhow. This wire also fits perfectly in the bottom so it doesn't take much room. It's easy to pack and that's what it looks like when it's over the fire. It's full of water and uh, holds it just fine and I'll show you how easy the lid is to remove and also give you a close-up of what the pot looks like and uh, how it hangs. And that's what it looks like up close. It does really well. Like I said, the lid is easy to take off and it just, it just does what it's supposed to do. So the lid is really easy to remove. You can see it's full of water. And put back on after we're done stirring it. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.